Hi everyone, how are you? I'm just coming on for a very quick video because I have some Stampin' Up haul. Now, um, excuse the lighting. I'm still in my pyjamas, just got back from a craft retreat, but I've got the blending brushes storage. And I also have the mini blending brushes. So I'm going to show you um, how it unboxes, etc. So I'll just flip this down a little bit. And let me see. So we have the box. We open up the box. And inside you have four little feet. Uh, these are little rubber feet that go on the bottom. Okay, so you just um, pull it out. Keep these boxes. These go as small parcel. They're great for recycling or sending out um, for Happy Mail. I always keep them. They're amazing. So just remove the packaging and you have this. Now, you may be thinking, what way does it go? What way does it go? Well, there is a gorgeous little uh, branded Stampin' Up. I don't know if you can see that. Stampin' Up logo on the front. Um, so that's got to be the right way around. So the bottom is here. So what we need to do is add four little feet. Da, 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 da. And what we'll do is I'll get the catalogue out just so I can confirm. Here is my mini catalogue. Here we go. I want to confirm where you can see it in the actual catalogue. So... I should have done that before I went live, guys. So, it is at the back of the current mini. Okay, okay. And, um, this runs until the end of next month, April. So, on page 87 at Tools, you can see it here, and also the mini blending brushes there. Um, in the annual catalogue, you get the full-size brushes. So, I will show you um, a size difference. Uh, £14 for the storage and uh, I'll show you some hacks that I learned um, at the Crafty Weekend from one of my team, DJ's uh, Crafting. So, relatively easy, she says, because I've got nails, to so peel off the little sticker. Now, there's four little circle bits on the bottom. So, you just place them in, like so. So while I do, and this this just means that it protects your desk, it gives a little room for anything underneath um, that might stick out slightly. These are great. I use these on a lot of things. The actual storage for, let me flip you around, or can you see that? The, um, oh, it's not very good. For the blends, which is here, you get that sto you get the little um, feet as well. However, you get uh, you usually get a little bit extra, and I use them sometimes for on the bottom of my flower pots. Um, you know, because you know, all, all know that I love uh, flowers. <laughs> it's turning into a jungle in here. Right. Okay. So we have the four feet on. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip you around. Sorry about the um, movement, etc. So, let me get my little phone holder sorted. Let's get it in here. And then I can see, like so. So, this is the, the device. And, I'll just quickly remind you where it is in the catalogue. So it's under tools, blending brushes, storage, and then we've got the small blending brushes. That is page eighty-seven. Um, if you just go, if you're doing it online or anything, or having a wee nosy online, if you just go to shop now and then tools, um, it will bring all of that up. Right. So let me see if I can get a proper view of this video. So the little blending brushes, um, they come in a pack of three. You can recycle this packaging as well. Um, right, let's see where my video is, just so that I can see. Oh, there we go. Right, so, I'm going to lift this up slightly. There we go. So, pack of three. 
very beautiful. They are just gorgeous. Can you see? Oh, so pretty. And comparison. So these are good for a little more delicate areas or smaller projects. Um, and these are good for bigger areas. I'm actually going to treat myself to more of these because I want to have, and I will as well with the little ones, um, I want to have one for each colour scheme. Um, and I've not washed these yet, guys. So I'll have like a neutrals uh, one. I've got a pinky one. I've got yellows, blue, green. Um, this is a neutrals, actually, and that's pinks and reds. But I need some other ones. Um, I need, uh, what do I need? I need purple. I need grey, one for greys. So that's one for greys, one for the lighter colours. What else do I need? Um, a peachy one for like skin tone and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, this is just a little upcycled um, tin that I have that I painted. Okay, however, these now go in here. So you pop them in and the end hits that um, bottom gap. Okay, so there's enough for nine. So of course if you've got lots of blends and you like um, you like coordinating everything, you might want a couple of these holders. These will look amazing on anyone's shelf. Lined up with your gorgeous colours, your rainbow colours of stamping up pads, stamping up blends. But they are just fab. So, you might think, mm, I don't use blending brushes all the time. You could use it for other things as well. So, let me show you. Let's get all these out. So, that I'll take the big ones out. I'll put my little ones to the back. Because they're just adorable. Adorable. And where is my tools? So I've not unpacked my tools properly. Um, now I would recommend if you're putting your scissors in it, you put the because um, our stamping si uh, snips come with a protective um, bit there, so you can put them in. Um, what else can you put in? You can put in your bone folder. So there's lots you can do if you've got a little ruler, etc. Um, this is going to fall with this, but just be careful if you're putting scissors in here because you don't want to blunt this bit. So if you're keeping the cover on, it just ever so slightly rests on that little gap underneath. Um, if you've got spare of the, the little feet, you could always make it bigger. Um, to protect your work surface, so just be careful. But there's lots of ideas, so you can put them in there. What else can we put in there now? Hmm, have I got anything else? Oh, I've got a white gel pen that I can't do without. I'll put that in there. Um, oh, my wink of Stella's just a little bit fat, but if you ram it in a little bit, it's um, it can sit there okay. Um, Stamping right markers. They fit as well. Um, obviously, they're not. This isn't built for these tools, but it does work. So there's lots of things you can do, not just blending brushes. So yeah, I thought I'd just come on and show you that, guys. Um, obviously, I'm not used to using it yet, so hence why everything's falling out. Um, but yeah, it's very good. It's small. It's compact. It's a good price. It's got some flexibility in it. Obviously, don't lean on it because you may break it. But it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, and it's a perfect, perfect addition to any craft space, um, any craft room. If you like storing away things, you can put this inside a, belt, a box. Um, you know, people like to put lidded boxes, uh, stuff in lidded boxes. Bring it out when they need it. Um, so... You could do that. Um, we just put the catalogue. Um, so yeah, it's um, it is a lovely tool to have, um, and I'm glad I'm glad I've got it. So um, yeah, I hope that was useful. Um, don't forget if you're shopping online with me, 
Um, I did have my hostess code. I'll be closing off this workshop order soon. Um, so if you shop, if you're shopping online, please use this hostess code ZQSV4VZM. Um, on the checkout page, there's a box that says hostess code. You enter that and you apply it. If your order's under one hundred and twenty-five pounds, uh, fifty pounds. Um, because you'll get your own rewards if it's over 150 so um, and then what I do is when I close the workshop order off I use those rewards for free gifts for everyone that shopped that month and uh, share them out and send them out with your thank you card and your, your little voucher so um, yeah thanks for watching guys um, I hope you have a happy happy Monday um, I'm just about to start um, my day job now because I've pre-recorded this early doors um, and yeah have a good day. You know where I am if you need me. And um, I'll speak to you all again very soon. Bye now.